Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing July's monthly guidance message. Now, July is going to be a, an amazing month to see the shooting stars, so be sure to look up and be ready to make a wish. The biggest astrological event happening in July is Jupiter, Moon, and Mars trine. This is opening an energetic portal to help us in resolving challenges and conflict. This summer in general will be a time of great shifts. July is when the realization will set in. Give yourself a little grace and a lot of patience through this process. The new moon on July 5th will be in the sign of Cancer. This is going to reveal emotions we've been holding on to that we need to release. It's time to let these emotions out, even if it's just on paper. It's time to let it go. I'll have the new moon live video around 1 p.m. ish on July 5th. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Now, on July 21st will be the full moon. And this full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn. It's going to be a good time to take action on the things that we've been planning for the past six months. If you haven't made a plan yet, now is a good time to plan, to organize, to declutter, to detach. Taking action and getting clear on what your bigger picture vision is will be the theme for this month. Now again, guys, I will have the full moon live on July 21st around 1 p.m. ish. So if that's something you're interested in, the full moon live cord cutting ritual, you're more than welcome in joining us. The trine energy will be the peak of the month. And that energy will peak on July 30th. Even though we'll be going through the transit throughout the month of July. I recommend using this energy to resolve and discuss those difficult topics that you've been avoiding. Avoiding the topics only delays the process. So let's dive right into Aquarius's energy for the month of July. And let's see what's going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. The Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Swords, Five of Wands, the bottom of the deck. Okay. This is resolving conflict. This is resolving some sort of conflict between. And for some reason, I feel like you may be the mediator. You may be the person who's helping two people resolve a conflict. Caught in the middle. We'll see how this plays out into the reading. We'll see how this is resonating for you, Aquarius. But I definitely feel like divine timing is on your side. Now, we're going to look at the energy that's surrounding you at this time. See if you're on the right path. We'll look at what the main challenge is going to be for you through the month of July. It's working in your favor. And the outcome moving forward. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice something you're interested in you're more than welcome in joining us also guys again if you like the vibe how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy the message or you find that it's helpful please give it a thumbs up it helps to get the message out there and it also helps to let me know that the message is resonating for you so we have the four of pentacles the three of pentacles the eight of cups 
the four of wands, the four of swords, the three of wands. And these cards right here are the advice. And we'll pull them over at the end. The image that I get in my mind, Aquarius, is a person who has two friends or two people in their life that they really want to work together, to come together, to at least build a cohesive relationship or be cordial. Right now, with this Four of Pentacles as the energy surrounding you, and we're going to clarify all of this as we go through. But I feel like you're kind of feeling like a rock and a hard spot at this time. Because even though you want these people to work together, it's like definite tit for tat energy. So let's clarify the Four of Pentacles here for Aquarius. There may be a need to withdraw at this time to regain your focus, regain your footing. Okay because there's a lot of conflict a lot of chaos and honestly Aquarius this may be something that isn't resolved okay this may be something where these two people have to agree to disagree and to go their separate ways as difficult as that may sound to you okay are you on the right path I do feel like you have good intention okay you do have good intention but if you lean into that intuitive sense, you know that these two people, if they are able to be cordial, it's only going to be for you or for what you envision, what you're trying to accomplish. I feel like it'd be time better spent if the resolution involved agreeing to disagree and walking away. Five of Pentacles energy. Abandoning the idea that this is going to work. I just feel like these two people have been at odds for so long. It's impossible for them to see eye to eye. It's almost like there's been too much water under the bridge now. There's no going back working in your favor is there is a solid foundation and these both of these individuals are looking at you like you are a friend of both of them and I know sometimes it's difficult we don't want to be pulled in two directions but you can set boundaries with these individuals and let them know like okay well if you guys aren't going to see eye to eye in part ways then I don't want to be discussing the other with you guys individually if we want to discuss people then we need to all come together and sit down at the table you can set that boundary Aquarius and you have to stand your ground in that I personally I don't really have a lot of friends that I interact with that aren't very deep connections um, but when I do have interactions with people like as in a business sense or maybe a more cordial sense um I don't really keep people around that don't have my best interest at heart if we're not loving each other building one another up and supporting one another I don't really feel like it's an interaction that I want to continue I can be cordial we can support each other you know when we're out and about and not make it uncomfortable for other people but that doesn't mean that we have to like one another that we have to be best friends and maybe that's where the common ground is maybe it's agreeing to disagree and to be cordial when in one another's presence so what's next <clears throat> i really feel like what the message is telling you, Aquarius, it's time to withdraw your energy from this disagreement. Let these two adults figure this out and focus on what you want for your future. Because this Three of Wands is telling me that there's something here that you're planning or that you're working towards. It's very important. It's very significant. And this is simply a distraction to that. Let's clarify. 
You have to make the decision here, Aquarius, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see that coming out. This Two of Pentacles for sure is a decision that needs to be made, but you have to choose to reserve your energy. And maybe that's going to be a problem. Maybe these two people are relying on you to be a mediator between the two. That's when you stand your ground. You can't be a punching bag. You can't be a conflict resolve for adults. They need to be able to have the aware, the personal awareness to be able to come together and to apologize or not and just to maybe even agree to disagree. And I feel like you can do that. You have the wherewithal within you. It's not easy because of the connection. It's not easy because you have really tried to make this work. You've put the energy your heart was in it, and that makes it difficult. But have the awareness now, Aquarius, and it's okay to pull back. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So the lovers, I know guys, everybody reads the lovers as a love connection. This is a soulmate, a twin flame, but this is also a choice and it ties right into the message. Aquarius, star energy, that's your card. You have to make the decision with this friendship. You have to stand your ground and put your foot down and let this person know. I can't be stuck in the middle anymore. If, if this isn't something we can resolve in a week, we can't find a common ground, I'm going to withdraw my energy because it's becoming a distraction. If they're your friends, they're going to be understanding of that. <clears throat> your lighted pathway oracle message here, Aquarius. Anticipate there should be a few challenges or obstacles waiting for you on the way to success. By anticipating these, you will absolutely soften the problem and get more decisive solutions. Give yourself time to heal. The feeling of burnt out leaves you drained. Just one more little thing is too much. Rest, take a few moments off from the chaos and restore your energy. Keep it to yourself. You have a brilliant and outstanding idea with an unconventional style. So before you round up and perform it, keep it secret to prevent yourself from judgment and competitive energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Aquarius. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month of July. The main recommendation I get is it's time to start being more conservative with where you focus your energy. Aquarius, thank you guys again for all the love and support. I hope the message was helpful for you and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey friends. So I just wanted to come on and again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans for those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those 
platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey and don't be afraid to disconnect guys the purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction the channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because i feel like once you heal you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, uh, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.